Alert! This is an updated movement guide, meaning I added some new movement techniques that I didn't have in the previous version of this guide. If you've already seen this guide, then skip to this timestamp for the new combos. But if you haven't seen this yet, you need to watch this entire video to learn all the moves that you need to put into a combo to perform those more advanced movement techniques. Anywho, enjoy the video. Apex Legends Mobile is an absolute monster when it comes to movement. There are so many things that you can do in the game, including long slides, climbing, wall bounce, and zip lining. If you don't know how to do these things, or if you don't know that they even exist, you'll definitely struggle to keep up. But that's what your boy Ice is here for. This guide will tell you everything that you need to know when it comes to movement mechanics for Apex Legends Mobile. So what are we waiting for? Let's kick it! There are two main things that you definitely need to know and understand before even going ahead with anything to do with movement. And those two things are velocity and foundation moves. These two things will allow you to unlock more advanced movement combos. Velocity. Velocity is basically how fast you get from point A to point B. Velocity, especially in Apex Legends Mobile, actually determines whether you are running or sprinting. In simple terms, your character has to start running for a little bit, build enough velocity, and then start sprinting. I know, I know, you're probably wondering why this is so important, right? Well, velocity is needed to perform certain combos. Let's talk about a basic combo so it's easier for you guys to understand. Right, let's quickly talk about sliding, which happens to be a foundation move. Right, so the most basic way to slide in this game is to run forward and hit the crouch button and you will slide. If you slide too early during your running phase, you'll only slide for a short distance because of the momentum that you've built. So, run long enough, build enough velocity, you go into sprinting and then you slide, you'll slide longer. And just to give you guys more of an advanced example, there's an intermediate mechanic called the wall bounce. To perform the wall bounce consistently and effectively, you must have built enough velocity coming off of your jump. But yeah, stay tuned for the wall bounce, it's coming on later in the video. Right then, let's talk about a foundation move. These moves are combos that you need to learn before you can start learning intermediate and advanced combos. First one up, slide jump. Slide jump is actually also known as slide cancel in games like Call of Duty Mobile. However, movement in Apex Legends Mobile is very precise and there is actually a move called slide cancel that does a completely different thing in Apex Legends Mobile. All right, so slide jump. You run, you slide, you hit the jump button and then you jump into the air. Easy. Then we have the slide cancel. You run, you slide, and once you let go of your slide button, you will stop dead on your tracks. Very useful for turning sharp corners. And here's where things get really interesting. Sliding in Apex Legends Mobile is my absolute most favorite thing to do. In Apex Legends Mobile, you can slide for as long as a downhill slope lets you. So if you find a hill that's as steep and as long as the one in firing range, or maybe even longer, you can keep sliding for as long as you want. And while you're sliding, you can carry out different tasks such as healing or reloading. So when your health is low and you're trying to get away from an enemy, remember, find a hill, slide, and heal. The jump slide combo. This is a super, super effective combo that not a lot of people actually use. Let's break it down, shall we? Sometimes there's just no time to build enough velocity, meaning run and slide might not be available for you in some scenarios. However, with the jump slide technique, you basically just flip the combo around. All you gotta do is simply move towards any direction, jump, and hold that crouch button, and you will enter a slide based on a direction that you are moving towards. Such an absolutely incredible combo to use during gunfights. This is one of the most simplest combos that I like to use. On to the intermediate moves. This is where the real fun begins, guys. Right, let's start off with ledge boosting. When you're in the air and you're in the crouch position and you hit a ledge, you will get a free slide. Ledges can be anything from a wall, a rock, a boulder, or even this control panel in the firing range. There's really nothing special that you need to know about it. That's pretty much how to do ledge boosting. But creativity is really where ledge boosting can take you very far. Let's put it this way. You're sliding down the hill in firing range, you jump, and then you hit another ledge on your way down. You will get another massive movement speed boost as you slide down, and then you can jump again, hit another ledge. You can basically do this for as long as you can. Ledge boosting is actually fantastic to work alongside the climbing mechanics in this game, which we'll also cover later on in the video. You can use your climbing skills to climb a wall, jump off of that wall onto a ledge, and get that sweet ledge boost to either get away from an enemy or do an absolutely aggressive push. There's so much more that you you can do with the climbing mechanics in this game. This is actually the real fun part of Apex Legends Mobile. But yeah, I'll go through that after this section. Next, we have the wall bounce, baby. Wall bounce is literally as simple as it sounds. You run to a wall, you hit the wall, you bounce off of it. But to do it, it's not so simple. So let's break it down, shall we? First of all, this move right here is the exact reason why I said you need to learn the foundations first. You know, the velocity and the foundation sliding jump techniques. Because you're gonna need to do those mechanics in a very specific order. 
order. Right, what we're gonna do is run towards that wall, slide, jump, hit it, and bounce off onto that platform on the left. But there's one main thing that we're missing. As soon as you come off of your slide jump, you must let go of your left D-pad. And if you've got auto sprint on and you are auto sprinting, you must pull that left D-pad back to the center. Why? Because if you're still moving forward and you hit that wall and you're still moving forward, you will enter a climbing state that you cannot jump off of for at least two seconds, which defeats the whole point of the wall bounce. So let's backtrack a little bit. So you're running towards that wall, you build enough velocity, you slide, you jump, you let go, you hit the wall. As soon as you hit the wall and make contact, you press that jump button and you will bounce off of that wall. The angle at which you hit the wall at will determine where you're going to go to. Meaning if you run dead straight towards a wall, you're basically just going to bounce straight back. And let me tell you now, guys, once you really master the slide jump technique, not only can you do a wall bounce, you can also do cool things like redirection over here. Ooh, spicy! But that one's more for the advanced section, so we'll get to that in a minute. Next, we have the crouch bam. This is something that isn't effective all the time. However, if you use it at the right time, it could be really annoying to deal with. Just to give you an example, check out this clip. I push a guy, he ends up having a better shield than I do, so I'm practically doomed. However, I thought, let's crouch bam and make the guy miss most of his shots. Oh, and last intermediate move before we get into all the advanced juicy stuff. Next, we have the air strafe. Please note that this is only available when using Octane's jump pad ultimate ability. Air strafe is a movement technique that you can use once you've got double jump at Activated. What it is, is when you use Octane's jump pad, you're high up in the air, a new feature called double jump will turn up where you can jump again midair and change directions if you wanted to. But yeah, in simple terms, run up towards the jump pad, use it, you get propelled into the air, look to whatever direction you want to start going to, hit the jump button and you will go to that direction. Woo! Damn guys, you made it this far into the guide. Look, this particular guide took me three whole days to make guys. Now, the only support that I ask of you guys is drop a quick like because that actually helps the algorithm and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, drop a like. Thank you. Parkour. 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 Yes, guys, we have finally arrived at the climbing destination. Climbing is what sets Apex Legends Mobile apart from all other BR games on the market. This is something that you need to understand ASAP. This is what turns a noob, an average player, to a really good pro player. Seriously, guys, get good. The importance of understanding the climbing mechanics of this game doesn't only apply to you using it. Understanding it very well also helps you predict and deal with enemies who are really Really good at climbing. To put it quite simply, anything that you can see, you can climb. And if you have an Octane or a Pathfinder in your squad, then it's even easier to get into harder to reach places. However, you can't just climb structures infinitely. And with all that said, let's talk about climbing in Apex Legends Mobile then. When your character is moving towards a vertical structure and you jump, you hit that wall and your left D-pad is still pulled up as if you were walking forward, your character will enter a climbing state. The standard climbing state lasts for about four seconds. And once you reach this four seconds, your character will just drop like a sack of potatoes. So make sure you understand which structures and how high you can climb up. You might have noticed that I said standard climbing duration, right? Climbing is affected by two things. Speed, which is only available for legends such as Bangalore, Bloodhound, and Octane. In short, when you have a moving speed boost, you climb faster. And when you climb faster, you climb higher. Now let's briefly talk about Revenant. Revenant's passive ability allows him to climb walls faster and higher, which means Revenant can naturally climb up from bottom all the way to the top of the construction building in Capital City. Yup, crazy! Quick plug, if you guys would like to know more about these legends and any other legends in the game, make sure you check out the description box below because I have individual legend links for guides for you guys to watch in there. So yeah, watch them. Climbing is something that will reward the player the more creative they are. For example, you see this construction building in Capital City? You know, the one that I said Revenant can climb in one go? Well, any other legends can actually climb all the way up, but you just gotta be a little bit more creative. You can actually change the direction of how you go up. As you're climbing up, you can pull your left D-pad to the left or to the right to go to the left or to the right. Wow. Which means you can actually scale this building by taking full advantage of the ledges that it has on each floor. So yeah, get creative with it, guys. There are two ways to stop climbing. Sometimes you're just gonna stop climbing because like someone's shooting at you and you've got no time to go all the way up. The first one being just pull your left D-pad down or let it go and then you'll just drop all the way down. And the second one, let go of your left D-pad and tap your jump button and then you'll jump off of that wall. Similar to how the wall bounce works. All right, we got the redirection, guys. The thing that I briefly showed 
told you earlier. Now that we've been talking a bit more about combos, I want to introduce something spicy to you guys. This one is called the Redirection, one of the most advanced combos in the game. Okay, so let's take a look at this right now. We've got some weapon racks on the left. I'm on the right hand side. I want to run up past the weapon racks, slide, jump, and end up to the left. It's a bit awkward to explain, so I'll just show you. Ooh, how about that? Okay, so let's break that down. We run straight, we slide, let's pause it right here, and then we'll do it frame by frame. So, we're now sliding. The first thing that we need to do is we need to tell our body to go to a specific location, and that is to the left. So from here, we need to drag our body to the left. So what I'm going to do, pay attention to my left D-pad, I'm going to drag it to about 10 o'clock to the left. So what this does is it activates a new path for our momentum. So let's go frame by frame. The D-pad will go to the left. So now I've told my body that I want to go to the left. Okay. So the momentum is now headed to the left. Once that's done, you can see the change here. I'm going to jump. So this is where I press my jump button. So now I am officially making my way to the left. You'll see that I now pull my D-pad from top left, which is 10 o'clock. From 10 o'clock, I'm now going to drag it to about 4 o'clock down right why because we are about to do a 180 so that means our orientation is now going to be different from how we are going to land i want to land looking behind me so now i turn clockwise and at the same time keep telling my body to go to the direction that i initially sent my body to which is to the left of the screen right now so when my screen turns 180 the left is now going to be on the right so that's why i am moving my left d-pad from top left to bottom right because I am now going to spin my screen around 180 degrees. So my orientation is now going to be completely different. Watch. So now I am going to the left. I'm turning, but now I am starting to change my orientation. So instead of going to the left, which is eventually going to be where I'm looking now, I don't want to go there. I want to actually go behind me. So I need to keep pulling towards that direction. So as I'm turning, I'm still pulling keep pulling keep turning and then eventually i'm gonna land to my now right which was originally my left ta-da i haven't actually got a clip where i successfully did this against an enemy but here's an example of how you would use it And last, but definitely 100% not the least, zip lines. Zip lines are a massive part of this game. They are actually hella fun to use. So don't click off the video just yet. And let me teach you how to use zip lines in Apex Legends Mobile. When you walk up towards a zip line and get close enough, this button will pop up. This is basically your zip line use button. Also, if you're midair and you get close enough to the zip line, meaning this white line pops up, you can just easily press your jump button again to ride the zip line. But guys, before we get into too much information regarding the zipline make sure you guys check out my full settings guide for apex legends mobile i'll drop the link in the description below why because there's a few settings that you need to understand whenever you're using the zipline but yeah let's get back into the zipline mechanics first of all whenever you're riding a zipline and you jump off of that zipline you get a nice movement speed boost it basically shoots you off of that zipline which means while you're in the air if you hold your crouch button down and as soon as you hit the floor you'll slide all right moving on zip and spin whenever you're using a vertical zipline you know, going up or down, you can actually go around that zip line. All you gotta do is use your left D pad to either go left or go right. And by doing so, you make yourself a very, very hard target to hit. Zip hopping. Whenever you're riding a zip line, you can jump off of that zip and jump straight back onto it. This is extremely useful for whenever you're riding a horizontal zip line and someone's trying to shoot you. Jump off of it and then time it right so you can jump straight back onto the zip line, making you an incredibly hard target to hit. And using the same zip hopping technique you can also do a zip redirection what this means is when you hop off that zip do a 180 get on the zip again and you will travel back to where you were traveling from horizontal zip boosting whenever you get to the end of a horizontal zip line you can get a movement speed boost but you gotta time it right though so what you need to do is as you're getting towards the end get ready as soon as you hit the end crouch and hold your crouch button and you will enter a slide and then you can jump off of that slide getting a nice little speed boost and last one on the zip line zip changing 
Basically, you can go from one zip to another, just like Tarzan, in a way. All you gotta do is jump off of that zip, time it right, and once you're close enough to the next zip line, press the jump button and off you go. Over the wall bounds. This tech is an expansion to the wall bounds. If you haven't learned that yet, well, what did I tell you at the start? But yeah, so you need to have mastered the wall bounds before you can even try this move. So basically, right after you do the wall bounds, your movement gets reset. What I mean by that is, you now have a new chance to go to a different direction, so instead of bouncing back, you can literally bounce over the wall. To do that, right after your wall bounce, you gotta let go of everything so when you touch the screen again, the game will register your new touch input. So, as you bounce, pull your left D-pad to the direction that you want to travel to and also turn your screen to that exact direction. Meaning, you'll bounce back a little bit, then you move to the new direction that you tell the game that you want to go to now. Super Glide. This one's hella easy to do, but it just requires a bit of timing, really. Super Glide, in a nutshell, gives you a free max velocity slide coming right off of a climb. In basic terms, as soon as you climb something, you can slide immediately. All you gotta do is go climb a ledge and right at the end of your climbing animation, keep your left D-pad still pulled up and as your character stands up, press crouch. This will shoot you forward into a slide. You can also add a jump at the end if you want. Next, ledge peaking. Another super simple one to do but can be a little tricky as it does require certain angles. Basically, whenever you jump onto a ledge, release your D-pad or pull it down if it's locked in auto sprint and land right at the corner of the ledge. As soon as you land, you'll hang onto that ledge instead of climbing it, allowing you to do a quick sneak peek and do an ambush attack like this one. And last but not the least, bunny hops. Bunny hops are a simple thing to do in itself for a couple of times, but some people have mastered it to the point where they could do it infinitely back in soft launch. In effect, all it is is you go into a slide, you jump, as soon as you land back down, you crouch again, then jump again. You can actually easily do this two or three times before the game force slows you down. However, Back in soft launch, players were able to exploit this by adding angles. <laughs> Look. I personally couldn't do it at all because I was playing on VPN and my ping was like 200 ms. So, I suffered major desync affecting the timings of the jump. Before I present you guys a tutorial though, please note that at the time of recording this video, I wasn't sure if this would be available in global version, but I wanted to include it just in case it's present. Anyway, a friend of mine who also happens to have a super cool name called Icy has mastered infinite bunny hops. He has also made an awesome guide for it. He is one of the best players in the world right now so definitely worth checking him out after this tutorial anyway here it is yo what's going on guys i see here today i'm going to show you guys how i move like this this is going to separate you from your competition and make you super hard to hit and allow you to reposition yourself in any situation do me a favor and hit the like button for me because i'm sharing one of my best tips with you today and if you practice this and implement this into your gameplay i promise you will be far ahead of anyone else just like me just like me <laughs> okay guys you're gonna want to start on this rock right here and when you jump off and slide and jump off you're gonna want to angle your joystick like this so you're gonna do two left two right one left one right one left, one right, and you go back and forth just like this. While you're in the air for bunny hopping, you're gonna want to switch sides. And a very important key factor is the time of your slide jump. Once you get this down, if you just keep practicing, you'll get better and better like every day. And do it in game as well. Like when you're running a game, just like randomly just try to keep it going. Oh, nice, right? The next move you should make is watch this video. Oh! Maple syrup won it! GG!